day six, 7.55 a.m. The housemates have been awake for 48 minutes. Big Brother has gathered the housemates in the living room for the result of this week's nominations. Very early for this type of news, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to show it. <coughs> I got no problem with that. <coughs> Big Brother. This is Big Brother. Right. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are... In alphabetical <laughs> order... George... And... Jody... And... Pete... Housemates are now free to leave the living room. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, just want to text us, people. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're right, Jodie. For that. You're right, Jodie. Yes, thanks. You okay, Jodie? Yeah. George. Cool. Sorted. Pete. Fine. Pete. Okay. Sweet. Did they say we can go? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. it's done. Yeah. Dusted. Oh. oh. I wish they just posted me a letter. Kind of caught it, don't you, Biggin? <laughs> this is when it starts, huh? Yeah. All the tension started to build up. Get married, you two. <laughs> We're thinking about it. Huge bags of nice. My lipstick's not as bright. Oh, wasn't it? Not as big as my bag, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Jody. 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 Mm hmm. Where are you? Let's have a look at you. Jody. What's the matter? Just a bit emotional, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, of course, but I mean, <clears throat> you know, nothing's over till it's over, if that's the way of thinking, is it? It's not until what the public votes. Exactly. So anything could change. Mm. You know? I expected it to be honest, but in a way that's why it's hideous because I expect it. Mm. Life ain't like that. It doesn't mean that it's. Does it? Does One thing that so could really upset so another person, so some person, so another person could go, okay, it's done, that's it. I'm going to get on with it. But that doesn't mean they're not just as upset. It's just people going Oh, yeah, and that's just our Jodie showing her emotion, I that's suppose. All, yeah. yeah. Eight twenty a.m. It's been twenty-five minutes since Big Brother reveals the nomination results. I'm sorry, I fail to see how anybody can be at all upset. Are we supposed to turn on each other and go, "Did you vote for me? Did you vote for me?" She right. said that. She said that. She did. She said that. But yeah, she did say that. She said, "Which one of you guys voted for me?" I did. <laughs> can Can you say that? I don't care. I've just said it. What are you going to do? What is it else? I think she's probably looking at excuses to... Sometimes if you go for a sympathy vote, it doesn't fly, because... It will if you could, But if you could just be yourself, like, I think I thought everyone here was, was being themselves, but I think if you're looking for reasons to not be yourself, it doesn't always work. Oh, do you know what? Honestly, the one thing I didn't want was to be first out. That's or even no, even just first nominated because no, nobody wants that as hideous. But there's nothing I can do. Can, you know, there's nothing I can do to change it. This is, it's a, it's quite a cruel process. Big Brother has called Preston to the diary room. A bit early, isn't it? 
How do you feel about the results of the nominations? I'm, I'm not surprised at all. I don't, I'm not really. Well, I'm surprised that George got enough for... Um, this is the thing, that uh, George will be able to know exactly who nominated him, wouldn't he? I think he thinks that a lot of other people wouldn't out of respect. And also, I'm sure a lot of people will, will think Jodie's being, you know, being annoying, and a lot of people will think Pete's being annoying. But from where I am, look at them in the eye, do you know what I mean? I can tell that they're both really all right. Like, do you know what I mean? Jodie says some fucking stupid things. Pete says some fucking stupid things, but they're both all right. And I know they say they hate each other, they don't fucking hate each other, they love each other. Whereas, I think George is just like, he's just looking around and being a bit shifty. Like, it's not hard to make an effort, is it? Do you know what I mean? And Jodie just wants to, like, get her tits out and, and, that, and whatever, and that's fine, but I think that you can, she can get her tits out in three weeks, do you know what I mean? Dennis and Tracy are now in the gym. Let's see, probably, probably Preston, because the comment Pete made, <laughs> so it's like, okay, because remember Pete made that stupid com comment? That was some funny shit, though, you gotta admit, that was some comical shit. Uh, he can't, he can't leave. He's just funny as fuck. I just, he just can't leave. You thought you were leaving on like girl. I did. I thought my the first person <clears throat> name that would be called would be me. Well, because you're a paranormal bitch, because you used to that's pretty much comical shit and goes in your career. And I told you, girl, don't even worry about it because guys out there on for what planet are you from wanna see somebody that's sexy as fuck. No matter why you look at it. And you it. Not so her. Are you saying that I'm sexy? Hmm? I said, are you saying that I'm sexy? I didn't say shit about that. <laughs> No, I'm just saying they want to see somebody that... Eleven ten am Big Brother has gathered the housemates at the dining table for this week's shopping task. Big Brother has set a lab in the house so that housemates can discover the answers to some of the world's oldest and greatest scientific mysteries. If they pass the task, the housemates will be rewarded with a luxury shopping budget of £4 per person per day. If they fail, this budget will be only £1 per person per day. Big Brother has assigned the role of lab assistant to George after the housemates nominated him as the cleverest. Rules. All housemates must take part in the shopping task. Housemates must only complete the experiment that is allocated to them. Whenever a housemate enters the lab, they must be wearing their full uniform. The first experiment will begin shortly. I have a question. Big brother. Have a... Our uniform. Surely we can accessorise. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. I mean, sh subject to being corrected by Big Brother, I would have thought that was possible. Can we, like, do alterations to make it <laughs> My guess is there'll be, there'll be masks. I don't want to establish this. Can we accessorise? Do you separate us from animals? I think there are one or two other things. I think there are one or two other things separate us from animals, but that is indeed one of them. It's the, I've never <laughs> seen a pig choose my series. <laughs> I've seen cats and dogs wearing jeweled collars. Absolutely. They're chosen by their owners. India. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Disgusting. The storeroom is now open for housemates to collect their uniforms. Housemates are requested to keep their uniforms in the Back up, bitch. <laughs> no. I put oh. on trousers on, yeah. George. What I'm laughing. Great. What I was laughing. Is that it? That's it, Clog. I need to see Big Brother right away. <laughs> Very fetching, I must say. Are we putting them on now? I think we just gave you some shoes. We're not yet doing experiments, so I'm, okay. I'm not sure that you should be putting them on right now. Right, because we have to wait to see what our experiment yeah, and, and is. And it's I have an yeah. issue here. I haven't worn a flat shoe for a minute since <laughs> I'll be 18 years. The tendons at the backs of my knees are shortened. Have you ever seen me barefoot or in flat shoes? No, What's the first thing I put second. on heels? 
Go and ask Big Brother, because if you penalise the whole house by refusing to wear your shoes... No, well, if no, I tell you to not, take his top off... He's not... He's not refusing. He's not saying No, topless, no. They wouldn't ask you to go topless. My advice would be to consult Big Brother on yeah. that. Mm. Have a word. But I have an exercise in heels. Yeah, you've never you've had heels on every minute of the day. No, I'm a first step through my mother's uh, white stiletto, so I'm more comfortable like that. I'm not going to stand around like a be twat and just if he likes. Well, Pete is a one of a kind. He truly is. Pete's a freak. Pete's a freak of the week. I must say. Open the fucking guy. door. Yeah, it must be agonising. No, I think we're waiting because it says that the first experiment will begin shortly. Oh, okay. Weird so, sounds. They, call, they will say over the thingy, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we can go yeah. in another room. Yeah. Other people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'll put this one there. We don't have to get permission to chat, though. Oh, okay. They just feel comfortable in the other room. Okay. Bullshit. Yeah, you know, there's always constant segregation or separation. But I think they just feel because they're the younger crowd. Well, one is 22, I think she's got on 10. The other's just there. The other's 27, I believe. Yeah. Jodie's 27. She's 27 going on 37. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one's yeah. 23 going on 10. Yeah. 10. <laughs> That's what it is. Fucking flat shoes, just fuck off. We all love a high heel, but fucking hell. <laughs> but then he let slip because he went... I'm not going to stand there looking like a twat in mm. flat shoes, so that's why I know he's lying. And that's really what it's about, is he doesn't want to look like an idiot because mm. he thinks he'll look silly in those shoes. Bye. Shoes, by the very definition, are an accessory. A uniform is a garment. What was his decision? They're going to get back to me. All right. They get me a chiropractor and an osteopath after I've done Darling, I've got a really bad left foot. So? So, for exactly the same reasons as you say, those shoes are incredibly uncomfortable. Well, you're willing to do it, I'm not. Oh, Pete, don't, don't make it a Come on. Darling, please. It's I'm game. not going to do it. No way. I'll wear this. If this isn't acceptable, I won't take part in the task. I can get by on a pound a day. In fact, someone And what happens my if everybody gets penalised because you don't wear your shoes? Ruler, you know what? Fuck off. Today, you've really got on my nerves. Go and clear your dirty towels. Come out the bathroom. Do this. Why are you wearing that? Just get out of my face. You're not my mother. Certainly. And who the fuck are, are you? Two who the fuck are you to tell here, me there's Pete. no need for? Eleven people and two toilets. Great. Yeah, there is two toilets. You can go and shit and piss in the other one. I can only use that one to get ready. <sighs> that is pathetic argument. Is a uniform. So there's a debate about it now, but Ruler's got a sore foot and she's willing to wear a clog, so I just told Ruler to go fuck herself. Well, I don't know, it's up to Big Brother and it's up to, uh, it's up to Pete. You know, it's not, nobody else's business. I'll either. fast for two days, but Ruler's getting right up my crack. She's not my mother, she's mm. not going to rehabilitate me domestically, and I've just said it like it is, fuck off, Ruler. Mind your own business. I came in as me, not as part of a group. You're just playing up to it, the why they put you in it, do you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, thank you for your wisdom. No, but do you know what I mean, Pete? Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Houston, I hope you're listening to this, because we've got a problem. We don't want this to fall down at the first hurdle. He's got a very big ego. Huge. Twelve forty seven PM Most of the housemates are in the house. Geordie and Chantelle are in the living room. Oh, I wonder what Peter was having to go at Ruler for then. I'm telling you, mark my fucking words, that man is nasty. He's got a proper little bitchy streak in him. But I ain't do you know what I mean, I'm not the type of person to even bother doing that, so I because we're being ourselves, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I am just outraged to see Chantel being educated over there and dragged into a separate camp and becoming as miserable as the sour old cow herself. I'm probably 
probably coerced into topless modelling because it makes loads of money. I'd just come over to say, if it you could... You just come over there to say, go in there, so we'll go in there. What? And when we get in there, we'll have to sit Chantel, there Chantel, let me finish, darling, please. Go on, come on then. Yeah, go on, yeah. Come on, no, you know, if you're going to be a celebrity, you've got to adjust the attitude Yeah, but I'm well. a normal person no, as well. No, she hasn't got to adjust I'm her not. attitude. Hold on, babe, I'm talking to her. No, no, no. But my well, so right. I'm not, can you, I'm not can a normal person. So I'm not a normal person. Can I just say something, right? You, you say come whatever in you like, You told me to go in there, right? I, I, and you've no, just made a point of saying Chantel. you're cooking. So I'll come in there and you'll stand at the cooker Chantel. cooking and I'll be sitting on the hard chair. I'm knackered. I'm really tired. It's just comfy and warm in here. Please, girls, will you, will you just for, take a okay, second? Okay, go. Go on. Right, and don't jump in on me. No, okay, Let me go finish. On. Then say whatever you want to okay, say. Okay, please, carry and on. And don't get... Just calm down. I'm calm, I'm calm. I was, that's why I'm... <laughs> why are you getting all uptight with me? Oh, my oh, God. Because I think you're wrong in assuming why? that we're here separating ourselves. We are just warm you're, and comfortable what? and sit in, in the comfiest, yeah, warmest place in the there's house. There's a community here. Well, Either. I don't feel much of a community. Well, there won't I feel be if you. Like I'm being well, there won't be. Look, well, there won't be. If it looks like you're isolating. When people. Well, we're telling you we're not. Okay, then I have to accept that. Yeah, we're not isolating. Okay, right, okay, I accept that. Woo! It's just Glad burning, we cleared man. that one. Yeah, I know. All right. I, I said it'd be burning. All right, I'm coming back. Ooh. Praise so, the Lord. So, why are you guys sitting over here, dude? It's because it's warm and comfy. It's comfortable over there. You can well, go in your... hard plastic chairs. It's like being at home on the sofa. Do you ever sit at home on the sofa? No. Come on, young one, you bastard. Come on. I'm going to leave my um, costume there. Oh, Chantel. What's that got to do with it? Now you're a celebrity. I was like, what has that got to do with it? You're still not going to tell me what to do? Right. Well, anyway, I'm not. He went to you here. He went, well, you want to change your attitude if you want to be a celebrity. That's when I butted in and went, oi. Oh, change his attitude. Tell him what ordering people around. I went, oi. She doesn't have good, oh, hasn't got to change nothing. Two or five p.m. We have it cleared out for you. Most of the housemates are in the house. Hey, I'll come to the As part of the shopping task, Freya must conduct an experiment to find out if eating spinach will make her stronger. Big Brother has supplied Freya with a trolley of spinach that she must keep with her for the duration of the experiment. She must eat some spinach every 15 minutes for the test result to be valid. Faria has been carrying out her experiment for one hour and 47 minutes. So if I run to the loo and... We have it cleared out for you. Don't run to the loo without taking your trolley. Why? Because <laughs> you have to wheel it with you at all times. I can't take it into the toilet. No, but you must wheel it to the toilet. I'm sorry, I have a duty to... Uh, sure that the rules are followed. Trolley, trolley, trolley. <laughs> Someone help me with the door. Or Pete, want to grab this? She's not going to make it down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's going to make it. There ain't no way. Okay. Do you think it's fun to do that? No, not at all. It's not all supposed to be fun. I think it's some of it is supposed to be a trial. It's basically saying, eat shit. Oh, it's just not nice. Tell you what, if you lie this way, I'll give you a bit of a head massage. I can say something to you. I don't want the camera to see me crying. Mm -hmm. I don't want the camera to see me crying. It's a mess, though. It was so organised. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> I'm telling you, the difference between four pound a head and one pound a head is one serious. hell of a difference. to be the wicked wizard, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll come and get some more. No. 
for you. You just have to take a tiny morsel of one leaf. I yeah. know, but it just feels sick. I'll, I'll do it, yeah. It's just the 15 minutes I'm worried about. Yeah, you're right. Tell her a tiny millimeter. I can't touch oh, it. Of course you can. <laughs> no, I'll get it. Don't Otherwise, I would. Sorry, sweetheart. But it's okay. Sorry, I'll, I'll come to help. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a tiny, tiny bit off there. Get your fucking head to go. Now, eat that fucking stuff. For Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. Will it, leave her alone. <laughs> Typical, she does this every time for attention. Every time we have the spinach delivered, she does this. Fucking, I have this every week. <laughs> Five nineteen p.m. All of the housemates are in the house. Earlier today, in their experiment, Tracy and Jody discovered that listening to classical music failed to raise their IQs. Preston's experiment in the shopping task is to test whether eating fifty chocolate liqueurs in two hours will push him over the drink drive limit. Do you like chocolate? Yes. No, that is all right. Don't, don't know where you can finish that. I mean, that, that one Ralph was sick, really. I know, but you've got to pace yourself while she get up to here. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be tough. All right. I feel strong at home. Oh, the wine. We were walking. She just went to throw this in the room. Faria, please, keep the trolley with you at all times. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just trying to be Yeah, I know, but at all times, please. Faria has been testing whether eating spinach will make her stronger. By leaving her spinach unattended, Freya has incurred the group's first fail in the shopping task. I think I will be sick. Does it work if I'm, I'm sick? Does that matter? You've got to keep on eating or you fail. Yeah. So we'll, get you, we'll bring you a bucket. I know it is. 6.34 p.m. Preston has been eating chocolate liqueurs for one hour and 17 minutes. He's been sick in the toilet three times. Is that a lot? The question is, should be the wine? be sick one more time. Cigar. Oh, sorry, This guy's gonna be fucking miserable more today. <laughs> Does anyone want some more wine? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Really, would you like a glass now? No, thank you. Chantel, darling, can you get some room temperature water for of Preston? Course. Yeah, please. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't, Don't do that. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Are you alright? You gonna make it, bro. You got like maybe two or three I'm to cool. go. You'll be alright. <laughs> yeah. right. Go on, Preston. You're nearly there. Not long at all. Oh, oh, that's good. Shut up. Yeah, but it's better than saying you've got loads to go. Up. Chill out. <laughs> I'm chilled, love. Just don't carry on, for Christ's sake. Will you please be quiet? Yeah, okay. Alright. I'll do a half. No. Yeah, but only half. I'm fine. Can you just give us a bit of space and let's do this. Yeah, let's have a wait. Move back a wee bit, yeah? Give us a bit of space. Come on. Because we've got a, a man here who's performing Herculean yeah. tasks. Yeah. Go, try and get the his oh, brain around. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Put it in your mouth, go. Go on, press oh, it, son. Oh. You've you done it. Oh. That is one hell of a task. That's, that's okay. Well done. 6.57 p.m. Some of the housemates are in the house. Chantelle and Jodie have been drinking wine for one hour and 33 minutes. You all right? Yeah. I'm quite pissed right now. Right? <laughs> Can I walk away? The girls have got to cut their lip. I'm going to get my mouth off. Mm. 
you know, I talk to me like a piece of shit. A bit of fucking respect. Oh. <laughs> she's been led by the other one, and now I'm getting lit from Chantel. There is an angel, and now she's turning into a fucking monster, she allows that. It's not fair. It's not fair on her. And she thinks it's all right to do because she's being led by the other one. It's fucking out of order. And you don't want to get involved in it either because they'll drag you into it. You look after yourself, mate. But you do what you want to do. I can't tell you what to do. Warn you, it's fucking dangerous. You know, it's not worth it. No, 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 no. This up, Matt. I don't think she's stupid. It's just, she's got a real problem. She's got a um, oh, uh, persecution that, that's not the case, you're running out of excuses, isn't it? Exactly. It's worse. Uh, if actually, if makes you were stupid, yeah. then you could put it down to that. Yeah. But in fact, everything is taken as a slight or an attack that has to be answered. You know? yeah. That's what all that was about. Well, I haven't looked from them, I have a bit of fucking respect. They're out of order. Did you see about Yeah. Chantel. Both well, going, both going together. Isn't that? Uh, both in the diary room together. That fucking lip has got to stop. I'm not having that fucking lip come back at me. Don't swear. They're making it, uh, they'll be in making a complaint. Hey, George, I mean, Michael. I'll put a stop to that shit. Yeah. So you've got a lovely girl in Chantel. She's leading her on. She's going to turn her into a monster. She's now experienced Michael's wrath twice. Yeah, I've twice. had it about 95 times, right? <laughs> and he's been hideous to me. And he has proper grilled me to the point where he was so ridiculous and childish and insecure and paranoid and vile, right, that I had to sit there and listened to his shit last night, and I went, you know what, and I didn't I'm really going to bed. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <coughs> Extraordinarily, after all the moods there were this morning and all the unhappiness, yes. briefly, until that this moment. has bonded. Briefly. Yeah. Until that moment. Yeah. Until that moment. Chantel thinks it's OK because she thinks it's funny. She, she doesn't think she's funny. funny. She's now, now getting angry. But listen, hold on a second. What's, fu what's funny about... Michael, just listen to me for one minute. Take it easy, Giza. You know? One minute. I got a lot of lip this yeah. morning from a child. Unpleasant. Told to fuck off. Told to mind my own business. To get out of somebody's face. But right? I do with that, but not from a child. You can't have a child talking to a man of his age in that way. <laughs> Well, you know what, Jim? On, uh, on Well, no, because I'm old-fashioned and I ha hope I have manners. But you're not going to influence her in a different way. I'm not going to condone it. Under, I'm not going to condone But she wasn't like that. But the girl wasn't like that no, until... So what, what do we do? Do we condone it by allowing her, her to stay under her spell? We tell her blind eyes. She's her best friend. So no, no, I don't mean that. So we allow it to continue? Do we allow this to continue? I, I don't think you can, think you can stop it. Out of order. Yeah, no, it is. Protest. They've got to fucking stop. <laughs> it's going to stop right now. When Michael was telling Chantel off, Jordi was standing behind Michael saying... I watched I see the body language in there. I'm not allowed to say that. Yeah. I think as a group we need to make a statement about this. Because hmm? she sure is. I'm not having her do that. She's influencing her, and the other one's behind my back telling her to tell well, we me to have fuck a off. I'm not trying to get my feelings, as you well know. About it just I know. Now. But what I'm saying is, you know, I was hurt this morning when we had a bus stop. It's weird. It's worked, yes, but I'm a grown up. And you are a grown up. Let me just explain this briefly, right on the line. You have your space to meditate. My meditation is in the toilet. Mm hmm. So I don't come in and go, real, hurry up, hurry up, I want to sit on the sofa. I said to everyone, everyone finish in the bathroom, I've got an hour. I can only do that, what I do. I requested that magnifying mirror for scar covering purposes. We're over that now. We are, you know? but that, we can, we can debate between me, that is really unfair. Fucking, you know what, that is not a person. What's that? That, it makes me sick, that's a child. Being How are you? I don't know. How are we going to deal with it? And you know well, what? Not, not, no, not right at this moment. In the heat of the moment, that's a bad idea. 
I can just, you know, the, the what idea of want, us sitting... What we don't want is a, a public backlash in her favour. So that would be the ultimate injustice. Yeah. What, what for? What would we lose? What would we gain? Well, she, why not say it like it is? She might win the vote. She's a manipulative no, scheming bitch. <laughs> I said that to her last night, didn't I? Either you are dumb or you're scheming. And she looks into the camera. Can I, can I level with you? I want Michael to win this contest. So I want him to win this contest. Let me finish. I want him to win this contest. Please let me speak, yeah? I want him to win this contest. I want him to come back to Britain and triumph. I want to have helped him do that. So I don't want him to do anything. So will jeopardize his position. Will let me do it because I want to get out. I'm not using reverse psychology. I want to get out. This is like taking a hot house plant. But I'd happily see the back of him, right? And I'm going to say it right now. I think you've given Michael a task to be vile to me and Chantel, you've if got not, rad. if not more people than that, yeah, you've or got rad. one or the other of us, if not both, if not more. And I think you have given him that task to be vile to us because I'm going to say it right now. Because if he goes, I'll be glad he goes because I don't like him. I don't care about celebrity. I don't care about fame. I don't care about who is the most famous in this house. What I care about is she's the best girl I've met in this house. And Me I too. love her. That's and I think she's a nut. And Ditto. she's real. She Ditto. is real, right? And she, that, in my eyes, makes her more of a celebrity than any of them out there because they're all fake. Seven twenty-nine p.m. Most of the housemates are in the house. It's been twenty-three minutes since Chantelle and Jordy entered the diary room. Two nights later, he shouts in my face and goes, "You didn't want me to be first. You didn't think I was the most famous." And it's like, if you're that insecure and paranoid that you're worrying that I didn't think you were the most famous in this house, then that shows what a wreck of a man you are. Michael has been in the log cabin for eleven minutes. Well, the problem is they're now in there it's talking like about second. Michael, and all he did, yes. all he was trying to do, was, was help Preston mm -hmm. get and through help, a very difficult task. Help task. the group. Yeah, to help and the group. Help the group. I'm glad you said that. Have you been back in there yet, the car. I just think we have to be very careful how we go about confronting her as a group, yeah, yeah. because remember that we've all got to live with the consequences for at least three days. I never even noticed that. Nobody in there. I'm very worried about. <laughs> you did. He's just laughing. He's so laughing. <laughs> hey, Chantel. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get involved. Go on then. Yeah. So next time you go in that room with that girl right there, just just be careful. Just letting you know right now, I'm just his stomach. You're getting out. led into a game that you don't know what you're getting into. Hey, mate. Yeah. No, don't. Dennis, take up the mantle. I'm just saying, though, if you go back in that room or anywhere with that girl again, I'm just letting you know. Just letting you know. Just, just, to, just to get you a little heads up. No, not, nothing bad, nothing bad. Well, he's only having a laugh in there. I know what I'm saying, though. I'm not bitching at you. We're not talking about no one. We're only having a laugh. We've had a few glasses of wine, do you know what I mean? So, I mean... That room is specifically made for one person to go in there. One, not Domas. No, it's not. Excuse me, no, 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 no. To, me, to us, it is. Okay, well, you obviously haven't seen Big Brother before. They have 12 people in there. I don't give a fuck about that previous fucking Big Brother. We're talking about this Big Brother. Well, did you set the rule that only no, one nobody else goes in there in, in a couple? We well, I've been in there with Tracy, I've sat on Ruler's lap in there, you've been in there with four of oh, us. Oh, no, when we all went to ask about the other so team. So why is that okay yeah. and that's not okay? But, but because there's an eruption, there's an eruption in the room, and then you paid disappear into the diary room to get so it. immediately... It's not as simple as that. The facts are, the facts are, the facts are that you have turned that young girl who was a perfect angel just a few days ago into I've your accomplice. Her. Yeah, into your accomplice. You are a wicked person. You are causing oh absolute strife in here, and you've inveigled that young girl 
into your wicked spell. Oh my God. And that's the I'm view of every that. person sitting around this table. Is it? Is yeah. That, is that the view of every person? Every person in that table. I don't think it matters. I would happily go in that room with any listen, one of you sat around listen, this table. Listen, listen, there's a 55 year old man crying in the garden because of her behavior and By her behavior. making of you as an accomplice. That's ridiculous. And I, and think, I think you should be ashamed. Unfair. I think you should be ashamed of that. It's not the truth that I'm a wicked person. I've made a accomplice out of her. I just get on with it because we're both young girls from Essex. George, We've got the same saw common Jody view behind and you going, tell him to fuck off, which would be a real big mistake. Really? Before, that's what George said he saw. George, I'm really I've sorry. You. Did you I not see Jody telling me. Chantelle to tell Michael? Yes. Yes, yes excuse me. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Jo George saw you telling Chantelle to tell Michael to fuck off. I didn't. Well, you know that's what, what I said. When up. Michael was telling her to shut up, I imitated him and I went, shut up. Well, well that's what I did. So he's take wrong. It up. He's wrong. George, is George, that what you sorry, saw? You're wrong. I told her, it's when Michael. It's on yeah, it is. When Michael yeah, said to her, shut up, shut up, shut up, I just imitated him and went, shut up. Like that in her face. And that was it. I was just imitating him because I thought he was being hideous. Oh, cheers, mate. You got cigarettes? Uh, I've got a couple, I think. Well, this is going to be interesting. Your coat on me, isn't it? It's a long coat. Uh, fucking hell. Too tight for you. How much crying? Oh, jeez, I, mean, I, mean, I just said to uh, Peter, I just, must have a rather bit of full tank. Oh, you look at the provocation that you've had. I don't hate the kids. No. no. Chantelle's been laid on. She, uh, She's been laid on. Well, the other one's getting full pelters now. Well, well you know... I'm going to put someone so, on, I'll come out. You know, she, <clears throat> I don't know whether I'll be in there and say my uh, piece or be no, out here. I, I, I'm all right. I'm, I'm done for this bit. <clears throat> Everybody copes in it in a different way. Around. I'm saying, you got to understand this. I don't give a shit if I see your ass or not. But we in this fucking house, we got to get along no matter what the situation is. That's just a bottom fucking line. But that's what I'm trying I don't to give a shit. I don't want to hear you sit there and say, well, she understands what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck what the fuck she understands. We all need to understand what the fuck you're talking about. And don't sit there and say, she, she knows what the fuck I'm yeah, she, under she understands. She understands. She understands. That's, that's fucking what bullshit. Doing, Jody. You just that's did. You, did, you just did. Don't pick on me again. Yeah, no, no, you just I'm, did it. And my best friend died and my dad's ill and my hair extensions oh, fell out. No, you my God. You can take a piss out of that if you want. That it just really makes you vile. Oh, sorry. And you Jordan's got a nose like a mashed in witch. That just makes you so vile, I right, want to well, hell chunks. That's something that happened to me, not through choice. Great, we've all had problems. We wouldn't have come in the fucking house if we could have You just You're out. so desperate you for out. money to fluff no, your not. boobs out. That's what, why did you come in? I came in here to show the real me. Oh, well, fabulous. You've done a great job of it and you can't face the real you. You've done yeah, a great can, job of fully. it. fully. And I hope fully. you fucking win. I hope you fucking win and you have that cross to bear. Because then you put a replay of this and think, oh my no, God. No, I won't. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done in my life. Not ever. I don't have regrets. I don't believe in having regrets. Why, why is Michael crying? Oh, is it because the thing with me and him? Because you're getting led astray. You're a kid. Oh. Right. I have regrets. Oh my God. Can I go out there and see him? I'm going to go out there and see him. Do you know what? Do you know what? And I will join you in a minute, right? But do you know what? When we get out of here, yeah, I know I'll probably I'll never see Tracy and Dennis again because they live in America. So but I travel here and I'm moving here. Michael, why are you upset? You know I'm upset. Though. Yeah, please. Is this a say? Can I sit on it? Yeah. Please tell me honestly. I really want to know. Well, in your case, I just put it to you, I'm telling you, I don't want to see you let down the road like you've been at the moment. That's upset me. And it puts me in a bad place. I don't, I don't want to tell you to back off. Yeah. I don't want to tell you to uh, talk to you like that. Well, you're like every single one of you is gone Rah! at me the minute but, I walked out of there. Well, why do you, you think that? Look at what Jordy, you've been out there. I'm listening. Jordy, why don't you ask yourself a simple question? Why is everyone saying this about you? Do you know what? Honestly, yeah. I have no idea. I love Chantelle. She's from Essex. I know. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You keep saying the same here. person right? over and over. You keep saying the same person. What but why you? is it a problem that we've become friends? No, 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 no. I, just, I just told you, I like it. Why I is like, it a problem like that we become friends? No, no, no. I, think, I think you're cool. Everyone's saying that Jodie's leading me along, but the incident with me and you were, you know, when I was 
Uh, I woke up this morning, I was knackered, like really tired, like, you know when you're so tired... No, I did apologise. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know when you're so tired, you feel like you cry, and that's how I felt, and... Maybe I'm overtired as well, Yeah, you know? I think we probably all are overtired, and it's probably the whole, like... I've had my tears, I've done that, so yeah. I, don't, I just want to, I mean, as quiet as you can, I, I'm sitting there with, yeah. with me bleeding nut down, yeah, and yeah. looking well, like something, no something like a hobbit. Or... Yeah, but no one wants to see like anyone cry, let alone a, you know a man cry. Do you know what I mean? And well, of course, that's how we're brought up, and that's what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that ended up making me ill. Though. Yeah, exactly. So maybe what what is wrong with a grown man crying? Nothing. You're not now, are you? Oh, Michael, come in here. Come on, don't be silly. I'm not putting you silly. Don't you know? Come on. No one's perfect in this house or in this world, and I know where you're coming from. I've been there where you are, and it hurts, and it's painful. All this stuff you told me in the, in, the, in the living room we're talking about, all the stuff you didn't even say to anyone here. You told me and Chantel, but when you're in a home, I think the important thing to do is to share and try to get along. Don't be defensive. You, know, it's, it's not, you don't have to do the defense. It's all for because we love you. No one I'm hates you, Jody. I don't give a shit. Uh, right. when you Excuse said me. Stuff about don't speak on my behalf because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not getting dragged into this. I'm not into this spiritualist Zen shit. I think she's a manipulative, scheming bitch. That's my opinion. Don't care if you hate Please, my guts. Don't care if your family shoot me. Don't oh, give a right. shit. That's my opinion. I'm going to piss on that one. <laughs> I know it's going to happen now. Thank you for your kind words. The truth. Sometimes the truth ain't kind. It's and it's truth, my truth. Thank you for your and kind, I live kind, within kind my words. truth. I'm fucking old and ugly enough to reserve the right to live within my truth. That's my picture. Seven fifty nine PM. Some of the housemates are at the dining table. The rest of the housemates are in the log cabin. The only thing I'm trying to say is I like Jodie and I like all of you, but it's hard for me to be with Jodie and be with the rest of you because a lot of you are feeling this hostility towards Jodie because of the way that you think that she's being with everyone to make yeah. it. Not. Yeah. So I find it hard to be in a room and be with Jodie and be having a conversation with Jodie when she can't join in, when I'm having a laugh with you because Jodie can't join in that joke as well and Jodie can't join in that joke with you or you but only Preston and uh, I feel like I'm, I'm picking in the middle that's I'm picking in the middle I know this is a big thing to all of you but can you imagine how big this is to me and for all this to have happened and I can totally for me to be in the middle of right. like okay, something okay, is not upset yeah no I'm I not can upset let's, let's uh, try and calm it down now she, she said to Michael last night the worst thing that she could have said, the harshest, cruelest thing. You, I'm, you, I'm supposed to take advice from you. You of, of all, all people. people. No, Michael's been through hell. Yeah. He's quite a vulnerable. Yeah, which man. you can imagine. Yeah, and definitely. I really wanted him to come on here and, and dazzle and win and make a comeback, a glorious comeback to Britain, where he should be at the top. That's what I really wanted. And when I see him reduced to being upset. It really, really well, I upsets me. Remove whatever's upsetting him. Well, let's let's just try now and calm we, everything I, down, yeah. I think that's a bit too much of an obvious solution. I think we. I just think. I mean, maybe, I'm just maybe just really naive, but I think we should just try and work on like making better relationships that's with each other. Mean. And I don't. I think that is. Doable. I'm very happy with my relationship with everybody in this house. I do not want a better or with any relationship with her whatsoever. I stand by my decision. Okay, let, let, let's try and paper over the cracks for now, yeah? Yeah, we, that's... We've only got uh, a couple of days from now, you, me, or her, will be leaving here. So, <laughs> one way or another, that'll uh, solve that problem, won't it? Ten seventeen pm Tracy is in the living room. Dennis is in the sauna. Jody has been in bed for one hour and 41 minutes. Most of the other housemates are at the seating area. I tell you, the most amazing thing that a girlfriend of mine, who is incredibly messy, on Christmas Eve, which is when we do our Christmas, under the Christmas tree was this huge, beautifully wrapped parcel. I think she was 16 or 17. She got terribly excited and all the family was there because we opened our presents under the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. 
and her mother had put 16 pairs of dirty knickers that she'd found lying around the room, wrapped oh. up in a parcel under the Christmas tree. She never did it again. Happy Christmas. I don't think that's a subject we should stray into. No oh, dirty knickers, fucking hell, I'm paranoid. I'm wearing them. Scared to wash them. Fucking on it. I am Sorry. freaked out about my fucking grubby G strings. They keep disappearing as well. That's Dennis. It's fucking not. Oh, De no. Dennis has got the one that's pillow. You don't. No, he said it. Only <laughs> knickers. You're paying sorry. What? You have got knickers on, haven't you? You don't think this all stays in place without serious support? It didn't you? stay in place earlier. Have <laughs> 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 you never had a pop out? Last chicken in Tesco. Have you never had a pop out? Um, not on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and get some more knickers. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. You might well still see it. Don't tempt him. Don't tempt him. see you with no knickers on. George, Geordie and Pete are the first housemates to face eviction from the celebrity Big Brother house. Who goes? You decide. To evict George, call 090 3233 04. To evict Geordie, call 090 3233 05. To evict Pete, call 090 3233 08. Or text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444.